So now as you can see if I here pass a number and then select an operation and then uh, pass another number and click on calculate you are going to get the result here in a new page in a new empty page and obviously obviously we don't want that what we want is that we want to get the result here in this box in this result box instead instead of going to another page so how can we do that well you can do that here in uh, your in the calculate instead of returning here instead of returning a just a string we need to return an HTML code. So we need here, we need here to say return and then we need to use the render, remember? Render, render uh, template and then we need to return to the same exact page. So we need to return to the same page but we want to return with the result. So we need to return here to the, we need to return to the simple.html but we want to take with us the result. How can we take the result with us? Well, you can here say comma and then pass a, a parameter with that result. So you can here pass the uh, parameter called result and then it's going to be equal to the result itself. So you can return here. You can here say result and then pass the result. Result. So now it should work. Now if you save and um, if you go back, it's not obviously it's going to go to the simple, but the result uh, we'll, we, we will take the result with us, but it's not going to be displayed here because we did not, because I did not here in the simple, we need to uh, pass the result here in this box. Remember, in this box, in this result box, we need to pass here. I need to say value, and then it's going to be equal to a quotes and then double curly braces, and then inside these two, uh, in, inside these double curly braces, we need to pass the value. The value is called the value is called result. So the key is result. So here here we need to pass result. Now let me save everything and head on over back to the browser. Of course I did I uh, uh, this is only gonna work for the plus. So let's test it on the plus and if it works then we can apply it to other operations. So let me here refresh my page first and then let me pass here a number. Let's say three and then plus, and then two, and then if I click on cal calculate, I, I want you to pay attention to this box. If I click on calculate, guess what? You are gonna get the result here, five, inside that box. If I pass here three, or let's say seven, and then plus uh, two, and then if I click on calculate, you are gonna get here nine in this box, so it worked. And um, we need, since it worked, we need to apply that to all of these operations. And as I told you earlier, you don't need to repeat yourself. So instead of instead of copying this line and and passing it in the in each uh, else if here, we can copy it and then remove it, and then we can remove all of these returns. You can remove here from this one, and you can remove this return as well, and you can also remove this return, and then. What you can do, let me here remove this space, what you can do is that you can here, at the end, at the end you can return, return the render simple.html with the result. Because the result will be determined already because this is gonna first, once we, calc once we call this function, it's gonna go through uh, all of these if statements and it's gonna do one of them. It's gonna, uh, it's gonna obviously, either do the uh, plus or the uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division, and then it's gonna, once it's done, it's gonna go to this line of code and execute that line of code, which will have the result already determined. So let me save and let me head on over back to the browser, and let me refresh and show you that it's gonna work. Let me go to the simple and hit enter, and now let, let's try uh, to here pass eight and then minus minus uh, three. If you if I click on calculate, guess what? I'm gonna get here five. Let's try the multiplication. So I'm gonna say here five and then multiply by multiplied by five and then the uh, if I click on, on uh, calculate, I'm gonna get twenty five. Let's try the division. So I'm gonna say uh, thirteen and then divided by two and then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get here uh, 6.5. So it worked and now we have a simple calculator web application 
are ready to be used.